Okay, I think we're live. I, um, I wanted to show you how to make uh, homemade mayo because um, even if you get um, a real good mayo, um, for example, this is, this is what I would consider a real good mayo. It's called um, Stokes Real Mayo. It's made with uh, olive oil, first of all, um, free range eggs. And uh, you have sugars, um, 1.6 grams, 1.6 grams. Trust me, that's very hard to find. Um, normally, normally if you're looking at 2.5, 2.8, 3 grams, even 4 grams of sugar per 100. Sugar is not good for you. Um, the other two things are preservatives and emulsifiers, because they somehow need to keep the uh, the um, mayonnaise texture creamy uh, and consistent, you know, on the in the shop and uh, when you buy it after you've bought it and opened the jar. So um, I'm just going to show you very quickly how to do this at home, very easily, very very easily. Okay, so one thing that you need to make sure that you do is um, the eggs. Obviously, try to choose good eggs. I mean, these are free-range um, eggs. Um, but the other thing is, they have to be absolutely at room temperature. Don't take them out of the fridge and leave them for an hour thinking you got the temperature right. It won't work. They have to be out from the morning for several hours. They really have to be room temperature. If you don't do this, it just won't work. Trust me. I've been there. All right, so this is the messy bit, at least as far as I'm concerned, breaking the eggs and getting the yolk out, right? So I need to get the yolk out of these two guys. Um, so hopefully uh, I'm not going to make a mess. Oh yeah, I do make a mess. I'm not good at this, I have to say. Alright, so that's not too bad. Not too shabby. If you end up with a little bit of white, it's not gonna keep you. In fact, some people actually put the whole egg. You know? Um but there's no point in putting the whole egg because basically the white is junk. It's a there's nothing much in it. Um, the juice is in the uh, in the yolk. All the fat is in the yolk, and the fat is what I want. By the way, I'm on a fast. I'm on a fat uh, fat only diet this weekend. Um, so basically, in my case, I only I'm only having uh, coffee with butter. And obviously um, water, um, coffee with butter, and that's it, tea, uh, bone broth, um, and I'm keeping, I, I haven't eaten since yesterday, so that's Friday, um, and I'll eat, hopefully I'll eat again on Monday morning, breakfast. So I'll get my, my two or egg yolks anyway. Um, notice, you know, how uh, the, the color as well of the yolk, you know, this is good quality eggs, that makes a difference. If you're going to make it at home, you might as well put the right stuff in, okay? So, um, the other thing is salt, and I normally use um, uh, Himalayan pink salt, this is not Himalayan, but it's not table salt either, because table salt is junk. Um, so I'm gonna put uh, this is one uh, this is one half teaspoon actually so I'm gonna heap it up so it's like it's like one teaspoon um, oh, okay a bit less maybe and um, all right so that's the salt salt gone uh, what else is there water obviously water this has to be exact you know the water has to be exact it doesn't have to be any special water just from the tap 
but the amounts have to be exactly three. Because for who's interest, for whoever is interested, the mayonnaise uh, texture and consistency is an emulsification of the water with the fats in the egg yolk and the fat obviously in the oil. All right, so third thing is the, uh, some sort of uh, citrus, could use lime juice, but I'm gonna use um, lemon. So I am going to um, have, how much is that? One tablespoon, okay? This is one tablespoon exactly. So I'm just going to squeeze it here, yeah, like so. Obviously, Take out the, the, the seeds or the pips or whatever you want to call them. Okay, cool. That's one, that's the lemon juice gone. Uh, then there's apple cider vinegar, same amount. So apple cider vinegar, I use um, uh, the one, the raw one with the mother. They say, you know, they say contains the mother, if you can see that. So it's going to make a difference, but well, this is good quality stuff. So that's one tablespoon. Apple cider vinegar, juice, water, and then uh, stevia or swerve. I'm going to use stevia. And don't, don't try to do it without this. You know, you think, oh, I don't need the sweetness, it's fine. But you'll see, because there's all these uh, acids in there, like uh, apple cider vinegar and the citrus, you're gonna need this. I am actually gonna put two of these. So, this is good stuff anyway. This is, this is stevia, it's not gonna do anything to you. Uh, it's not sugar. All right, so, I'm missing anything? No, obviously the main ingredient is oil. Oh, oil, important. Um, I do the same. Yeah. So I use safflower oil. All right. Don't uh, don't mix it up with sunflower oil. It's not sunflower. I wouldn't use sunflower oil. And what's good, what's important about this is that it is cold pressed. Okay. It's not thermally modif. Ter ter what do you call it? Thermally excellent, unrefined without any chemical process. All right, unrefined without any chemical process, and somewhere it has to say um, uh, cold pressed. Hopefully, ah, here it is. Yeah, so organic cold pressed that's important. Trust me, otherwise, you're eating um, something not good for you. All right, so finally we need, um, how much is that? 250. So 250 ml. Oh, that's exactly 250. Brilliant. So I bought the other one just in case this didn't, uh, this wasn't sufficient, but it's fine. It's exactly what I need. So you just add it. Hopefully, hopefully, this thing will work, you know. I mean, I failed a couple of times, but only because I wasn't uh, at my home. I was in some hotel or abroad, you know, where I didn't have the right stuff with me. So I kind of tried to compromise. It doesn't work. You need to do it exactly this way. Oh, trust me. Otherwise, you're going to get a mess. That's it, basically. I haven't forgotten anything, right? I mean, some people actually put some um, Dijon mustard. Um, I can't find the tin. Sorry, it doesn't matter. We don't need it. That means we don't need it. My blender, my cuisine art. I can't advertise this enough. This is very good stuff. All right, so basically uh, what you do is <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. You just put it in there, right? Um, where's the button? And
Just with a couple of pulses. That's fantastic. I mean, come on. This is great. Look. Now, when you put it in the fridge, it will actually uh, get thicker. But you can eat it just uh, just as it is now. It's practically done. Um, and uh, and that's it. It's it's already done. It's in in the bottle that you need it to be in and um, you can give it a taste like this <laughs> oh. mm. i'm on a fat fast right but this is fine this is fat this is oil and there's a bit of protein in the egg yolk mm. oh god man this stuff is good so anyway hope you enjoyed that and do I have some mayo? Okay. So you can see the, uh, it's already thick, right? You don't need any emulsifier. Look. All right. And if you keep it in the fridge for one hour, this will be exactly the same consistency as this stuff you buy in uh, in the store. And this is good for you. You can, you can be sure that everything is, is raw, right? Raw material. There's the eggs, there's the oil, cold pressed. Um, so, you know, it's pure, sure, man. It's good for you. Anyways, that's all I wanted to, to share. And eat a lot of it. This is good stuff, you know? I eat it from the bottle. But, uh, it's, it's, it's very healthy. Google it. <laughs> Cheers, bye. Google it. Am I offline? Okay, and broadcast.